Lesson 5.2, break apart two-digit numbers to subtract. We're going to do mental math. Now, we did a little bit of this in 5.1, and if you haven't seen it, it's linked in the description. Breaking apart a subtrahend breaks the subtraction problem into smaller problems that we can solve by using mental math. So remember, the first number in a subtraction problem is the minuend. We're taking away the subtrahend, and the answer is the difference. 35 is our minuend. 18 is our subtrahend. What we do to break apart the subtrahend is we break it into a 10 and an 8, because 10 plus 8 is equal to 18. Then we look at the ones place in the minuend, and because there's a 5 here, we know when we break apart the 8, one of the numbers is going to have to be a 5. One of the add-ins will be a 5, and we need 3 more to make an 8, so we have a 5 and a 3. And we think we start with the minuend 35, and we take away this 10. Now we're at 25. Then we take away this 5 to make a 10's number. Now we're at 20, and we take away the last 3. We subtract what's left over. It's equal to 17. And we can do this in our head using mental math. We break the subtrahend 18 into a 10 and an 8 because 10 is easy to subtract first. The minuend has five ones, so we know 5 will be one of the add-ins for 8. So this is what we're thinking. We have 35 minus 18. If we use a number line, we can see what we should be thinking. We break the 18 into a 10 and an 8. So we start at 35 and we take away that 10. That gets us to 25. And the 8, because there's a 5 here, is broken into a 5 and a 3. So now that we're at 25, we can go to a 10's number a 20 by taking that 5 away, and we have 3 left to subtract. We go from 20 to 17. We know the difference is 17. Let's try it again. We have 31 minus 15. So we're going to start at 31. We're going to break the 15 into a 10 and a 5, so we're going to subtract 10 to get to 21. And the 5, because there's a 1 here in the minuend, one of the add-ins for 5 is going to be a 1. We subtract 1 to get us to a 10's number, that 20. Now we're here. We still need to take away 4, and we take away 4. We started at 31, and we took away 15, broken up as a 10, a 1, and a 4. That's 16. So 31 minus 15 is equal to 16. Let's try it again with 42 minus 13. The first thing we do is break the 13 apart into a 10 and a 3. We see there's a 2 in the minuend's 1's place, so we know 3 has to have a 2 as one of its add-ins. We know 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, so the other add-in must be a 1. So on our number line, we start at 42 and subtract that 10 to get to 32. Then we subtract this 2 to get to 30, a 10's number. We subtract the 1 from 30 to get to 29. We subtracted 10 and 2 and 1 to subtract 13. We know 42 minus 13 is equal to 29. Let's try it one more time. We've got 47 minus 19. We're going to break the 19 apart into a 10 and a 9. We subtract 10 from 47 to get to 37. We break the 9 into a 7. And we need two more, so it's a 7 and a 2. So we're going to subtract 7 to get to this 30 as a 10's number. We still need to subtract this 2, so we're going to subtract 2 here. That gets us to 28, 
we know 47 minus 19 is equal to 28. Mr. Lee has 64 oranges. He sells some oranges. Now he has 49 oranges. How many oranges did Mr. Lee sell? And we think we can take 10 from the 64 to get 54. And if we take away four more, that'll get us to a tens number, 50. We're trying to get to 49, so we need to take away one more to get to 49. And we total what we took away. We took away a 10, a four, and a one. We took away 15. That means he must have sold 15 for when he sold some. There were 15 oranges sold. 64 minus 15 is equal to 49, and 64 minus 49 is equal to 15. If we add the 15 and the 49 together, it should equal 64. There are two trays of cookies. There are 36 cookies on the first tray. There are 19 cookies on the second tray. How many more cookies are on the first tray than the second tray? We think we need to find the difference between 36 and 19. And how many more is a clue to subtract? We see the words, how many more than? That means we need to find a difference and we need to subtract. So we start at 36. And we can take away 10 to get to 26. We take away 6 because there's a 6 in the 36. Now we're at 20. We need to get to 19, so that means we need to take away one more. So we took away a 10, a 6, and a 1. We took away 17. That means the difference must be 17. There are 17 more cookies on the first tray than the second tray. Addition or subtraction, circle how we should solve. The first one says 43 students are on a bus. 14 more students get on the bus. How many students are on the bus? Do you think we should add or subtract to solve this? We can carefully look at the words 43 are on the bus, 14 more get on. If you said add, you're correct. 14 more get on tells us we need to add 43 and 14. What about this one? 43 students are on a bus, 14 students get off the bus. How many students are on the bus? Should we add or subtract to solve this? And think, there were 43 on the bus, 14 got off the bus. Now how many are on the bus? If you said subtract, you're right. We need to subtract 43 minus 14, then we'll know how many are on the bus now. So remember, as you're breaking apart two-digit numbers for subtraction for mental math, we break apart the subtrahend. Here's the minuend. We take away the subtrahend, and the answer is the difference. For 43 minus 14, we start at 43, and we take away 10 to get to 33. There's a 3 here. This one's place in the minuend will become one of the add-ends for the four. We subtract three to get to 30, and we subtract one more to get to 29. We know that we took away 14. We took away a 10, a three, and a one. The difference is 29. So remember, we break apart the subtrahend. We can remember that the first number is the minuend and the second number is the subtrahend because M comes before S in the alphabet. 
So minuen, then subtrahen in a subtraction problem. If any of this was confusing for you, click the description and go back and watch lesson 5.1 and that should help you. Then you can rewatch this lesson. Our next one is 5.3. We're going to model regrouping for subtraction. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.